we're gonna be cutting stained glass on the light box using what's called the old English method. And y'all, this is my favorite way to cut glass, especially opaque glass, is to cut it right on the light box. We're here in the glass studio and we've started on our Merle's Inlet project. Today I'm working on cutting out the water underneath of the dock. So I had a little bit of a dilemma. I was trying to figure out because, you know, the background of the the background of the sign that says Snug Harbor is wood. So I thought, well, what can I use? But then I have all this beautiful glass that we used in the background of it. So I'm gonna make it the wood on all of the docks all the way through the entire process of this uh, marsh walk window. We're using a Kokomo 70 for the water and I've got some of it cut right here and you can Barbara pan in on it and let you see it. So some of the glass is cut, some of the pylons are cut for the uh, for the dock and then of course there'll be more pylons being cut, you know, like right here. They'll be going that way. This is our water here. So I'm just gonna give you um, a quick shot. So you see what it looks like with the light behind it. And then we're gonna take and let you see what it looks like with the light on it, with no light behind it. So you can see that we're trying to achieve a look that looks both good day and night within the restaurant. We're cutting the windows out. Because there's two of them, we're cutting them out two at a time. So once I finish this body of water here up to the horizon line, which you can see is, is right across here, this 29 and 28, now I have these little circles here because I'm, um, these are the pieces that I still need to cut. So once I've cut all of the water on this window, I'll cut it again and then we'll stack it up. And we're stacking everything too tall because once these windows are cut, we'll be working on the grinding and foiling of the lettering here. Remember we have our, our wood as this beautiful purple and then we have this glass here, and now we have a dock, and then we're gonna have, you know, there's a sunset behind the restaurants every evening facing the fronts of the restaurants that are facing east or the right-hand side. We're gonna do the sky with a sunset across the top of the trees that are in the larger windows. So this, right below the Snug Harbor is gonna be a lot of that Armstrong orange that I showed you that and then it's also going to have just a little bit of a different sky color inside of it. And then we have an Armstrong that has the same orange or amber color in it, but it also has green in it. So I'm going to put that from the water line that you can see right here. And I'll just kind of point that out. I'm going to put that Am the Armstrong green and orange color from here just behind the dock and out into the water just a little bit here. So it kind of gives it almost an island kind of feel that's behind the dock. So you're walking out on the water, you got water on the other side of the dock, and then, then beyond that, you have a little bit of uh, land, but then we're gonna bring the sky down and kiss the water with it. And then I'm gonna be in, and we're gonna be breaking down this Armstrong, the orange for the sky. We're gonna be breaking that down into smaller sheets. So I'll show you how to how to handle that in your studio. And then I'm also gonna show you how we're gonna be cutting stained glass on the light box using what's called the old English method. And y'all, this is my favorite way to cut glass, especially opaque glass, is to cut it right on the light box so that I can see you know, what's going on. So like if I hold that piece of glass up for you while you're looking at it like this, and then what I'm gonna do, so there's no light behind it or anything, but I'm gonna bring it over to the light box just to see what it looks like as it starts to come to life. Just watch that as the light gets behind it. And then when I lay it down, look what happens. Oh my gosh, look at this. So you can see my pattern lines here through the incandescent light that's underneath of my pattern. So you use a white paper pattern and then we put a, uh, contact, clear contact paper over top of it to protect it so that we can use it. So you can see all my little marks here 
We've got lots of two X's. That means we have lots of pieces cut, but we also have lots of pieces that have no X's at all. So we're gonna be cutting those. I'm gonna bring this. out into the water like that. Hi everybody, today we're working on the uh, background sky on the Snug Harbor window. So we're cutting this out so you can kind of see, this is the beauty of working on the light box. You know, I can move this this way, I can move this that way, but what everything does is it all stacks up and goes together. So let me slide this out of the way. I'm just gonna like put a couple pieces in for you and let you see, this is like 104 here, uh, five is here. So you can kind of see what I'm doing with the glass and you can see how it's all kind of flowing a little bit. So this is the beauty of working on the light box, everybody. This is this is what I, I really enjoy. Now, uh, we have this number 107 and this 105 that we want to get out of this. And we're also gonna, we're gonna whittle this down just a little bit. So we're gonna come across here and then we're gonna go up and over because we wanna be able to use, utilize this end of this glass down here because we want it lighter so that we give it that effect. Like, you know, it's darker up here and then brighter down toward as we go across here. So, and then the next color we're gonna be working with will be the background that goes in between all of these uh, columns and posts on the, on the dock. So, hey, let's cut a piece of glass, stop all this talking and cut some glass. Here we go. So remember, while we're cutting the glass, we're staying on the inside of that black line of the piece of glass that we're cutting. All right, now we have a point right here, okay? So we're gonna turn this around and we're gonna break this from the end that we have the point. We can't, don't grab it with your grousing pliers right near the point. You wanna grab it about an inch back and pull down gently. Again, start that run and then move your grousing pliers down, but stay behind the run and pull down and just go work your way right across. Let's enjoy this in the light for a moment because it sure is going to be pretty. Now, if you notice, this sheet also has the same orange or brown uh, swirled in it with the white, but it also has the blue that's in the water. So this is going to do a lot of things for us. And we're going to take about, we're going to be using about this much of this sheet. So we're going to take about two strips off at about seven inches. So remember, when you're holding glass, you always roll it, just like that. If you can roll it like that, it keeps it stiff on this end, doesn't allow it to flex. And remember, never grab the piece of glass in the middle because that allows you, gives you a fulcrum point and it'll cause breakage and could cause serious injury. So we're finishing up. We've got our, all of our sky is cut out. Everything's cut out. Now I'm just cutting out these colors that are behind the dock and at the end of the dock where they meet up with the water that's coming down and coming up. So this is looking pretty good, y'all. We're just cutting these little pieces here that go in between all of the little pillars that the the dock is standing up on. So it's just a couple little pieces, maybe, you know, maybe 15 minutes worth of cutting. We are now grinding and fitting the Snug Harbor lettering inside of this window here. So now all of the, all the glass is cut out now. Now we're gonna fit, this is a copper foil section here. This will be copper foiled and I think Let's see, I think that piece fits right there, yeah. So, and then we have another piece right here that's directly behind me. And then, so right now I'm just grinding and fitting all of this. And I'm telling you, I'm using this new V grinder by um, Techniglass. And I'm gonna tell you, if you get this grinder for your studio, you're gonna love it. So I, uh, I cleaned it up, got everything ready. Now I've got my water in it. Listen to this, everybody, listen to this. 
sweet, right? I'm gonna get Barbara to close him. I'm gonna change this bit out for you, ready? I'm ready to change and put another bit on it. Guess where my other bits are? Right here in the drawer. This is a great, great grinder, you know? We've done a video on it and we gave it a thumbs up. And uh, I'm gonna give it two thumbs up today because it's really helping me out on this. So we're gonna finish getting these ground fitted and then we're gonna foil. Here we are, we're working on uh, grinding and foiling the Snug Harbor sign for the Snug Harbor, for the flankers on the uh, existing salad bar. So, so today we've got Miss Mary here helping us. She's saying, wow, dad, that sure looks good. And she's excited because she's learning how to foil. She's a good grinder now. That uh, she's learning how to foil. She's checking it out. She's like, Dad, that, that looks pretty good. It fits pretty good. And so she's excited. And uh, she just wants lots of love this morning. But we are working. So let's turn this on and let's get to work. So I've got the white parts ground that produce the lettering for the snug. And I'll, once I get this ground and foiled, everybody, I'm not moving it. This is going to get tacked together right here so that when I get ready to lead it and insert it into the panel, I can just go ahead and do that. And once I tack solder it, I'm gonna clean it and then I'm gonna cover it with uh, like a, a bond paper, a heavy resin bond paper, like a floor paper, and then uh, painter's tape. And then we're gonna leave it like that and keep the oxidation off of it until we're ready to solder the whole thing.